Oh, it's not bad. All right, so we got the old mantelpiece and all that out. And now we're going to try for the first time to see how our measurements are. Give me a sec. We're going to... Well, this is dry fitting. And then you can go back out and get the glue and stuff. Whew. Okay. Just need, uh, you need more space? I mean, this side's fine. It's a gas right here. Oh, well, we, we, we can put a filler. But other than that, it fits. Yeah. Okay. It fits good. All right, let's check the top piece. I might have to cut them off. Well, no, what we'll do is we'll, we'll have to make a uh, filler piece that will. So we'll just need to notch that a little bit. So that's what our new one's going to look like. Now what we just realized is we've got a little bit of a gap here from where they had filled it with cement because we chipped all that off. But that's okay because what we'll do is we'll just make a get a big quarter round to go in here when we come back. But if Michael <coughs> can step back for a second, Michael can step back and see what that's going to look like. What do you think? That's good. Similar to what the yeah, old one looked like. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get some glue. So we're going to put some anchors I, 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 in here. Control. Yeah, we're, we're going to put some anchors, a couple anchor screws in the wall with some adhesive. And then we're going to caulk and fill it. Okay, if you can go ahead. Just lay it, lay it. Just go back like that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so he's going to go get our other tools and things. And then we're going to look. Well, you need the caulk. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the adhesive. Oh, yeah. I also need the hammer drill. And the, the uh, blue screws. Yeah, that's bad. Why long do you know your shit, man? Uh, that's what some people say. Some huh? people say I'm a big pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, wow. Let's what? See. There's nothing really there. Huh? There's nothing really here. What's all that down there, Ma? What, all my tools? No, that, that uh... What, this? That's the, the middle top. I did it in two pieces so that way I can adjust and cut it and things. But I'm going to take out a piece of trim here. <laughs> Alright, 
So now we know what we need for molding wise. Huh? So now we know what we need for molding to go with the door frames. So here's what we got. <laughs> this is not something that you can just run to Home Depot and get. Um, you look at the thickness, that's three quarter inch molding. Um, my best chance is actually going to Smoot Lumber, which has been in business since the 1890s and trying to get something to match. If not, hmm, we may have to make this, which this, we can make a bead, uh, if I get a router bit, make a bead piece of molding like this. This is actually two pieces, so at least we've got an idea of what we're going to need. And we can also see, wow. Check this out. <laughs> this is kind of fun for me because they don't build houses the same way anymore. What I want you to see in here is, so you've got this big molding. This is our, our wood for our um, door frame. It's an inch and a half thick and it looks like it's red oak. Yeah, red oak framing. That's solid as a rock. So we'll hopefully be able to uh, salvage these. If not, we'll go ahead and actually make some pieces that will match it because we want to try and keep the integrity um, as close as possible. One other thing we'll do when we do all this is we'll actually undercut the door frame here, so the door itself, so that way it won't drag on here. So we've got this piece, which is right here where the hinges are on. And then we're going to need to get a wide piece of wood to go in here that'll be smoothed out. And unfortunately, we've got a lot of termite damage that's throughout here. So we're going to pull all this off, but we're not going to pull this off today. We're actually going to pull this off when we come back with all the materials to put it back together. But uh, it's going to be fun, right? That's the home happy homeowner, my buddy Alex Lucas. I talk about him a lot because... He's taught me a lot about construction. We used to work at uh, Prince William County Jail. We had like 500 pound um, jail cell doors. Remember them jail cell doors? 500 pound doors that we had to hang and chopping through brick walls and uh, building the platforms and doing courtrooms and stuff. So we've been gone through a whole lot of wars together. And uh, I'm glad I can get this fixed for him. All right. Time to get this well, thing set. We got it in here. We got to come back because I, of course, like a big dummy, brought the wrong color paint. So I got to go through and figure out which one's the right color one so we can touch up our screw holes and things in here. But it's solid. It's in a, yeah, it's not coming off the wall here. Uh, so we're, we're looking pretty good. One other thing we have to do too is we're going to have to make a little cove molding to go over here on the ends and that'll tie it in there. And the next time we come back, we'll be working on the door frames. One last thing we're going to take a look at here and we didn't actually film it is Mr. Lucas. Say what's up. Hey! <laughs> is we went through and we ended up putting in our stair treads. Now, when you look at the color, the color is a lot lighter and stuff, but it will actually age actually rather quickly now that it's actually been exposed to the light and stuff. So within a few months, you'll start seeing the patina that's in here with this that. Dark, it looks like it's starting to age. Yeah, this one looks darker than it did already. Now, we had some other issues that we have to deal with too is some more termites have been in here so we're gonna actually cut out these sections fill that in and then we're gonna end up painting that when we come back so as always thank you for watching this old house well mark working on an old house i'll see you